Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this has been a video that I've been working for a long time. Not in the sense then I took a long time to make it. It's one that I, from time and time again, I pick up the document that I use for the skeleton of the video. Something happened and I said, yeah, this is the time to make the video. Like it or not, I never finish. I said, oh, the time passed or something else happened or... I don't think it's going to have any impact or anything important will come out of it. And in so many ways, after this disclaimer at the beginning part of the video, we'll kind of show a little bit more importance to that part. I think it's finally time that I talk a little bit, not much, and to be honest, the not much for me is very different about politics on your hobby so yes get ready this is not gonna be pretty see you on the video ladies and gentlemen here we go first day came is a poetic version of a confession made by a pastor on 1946 in many ways even if most of the times it already became a template for a lot of things. It still carries the same sentiment, even if the subject matter is different. I don't think I need to say what was the original confession was about, but the sentiment is about people not speaking up against something and letting the witch hunt or the hunt itself go for other people now i have to be honest i personally have my own version of first day came i think nowadays a lot of people have their own personal versions of it it goes something like this first they came from the movies and i didn't care I wouldn't watch those movies anyway. Then they came for the comics, and I didn't care. I wouldn't read those comics anyway. Then they came for TV shows, and I didn't care. I wouldn't watch those TV shows anyway. Then they came for tabletop or card games, and... I didn't care. I didn't play those anymore. And now they come from my hobby. And hopeful there is still a little bit of people speaking up about it. So with this video I decide to speak on myself. This video or more or less gonna be divided into part. My background with Warhammer is not that big. I only played the tabletop RPGs and most of the games on the franchise. Not all, even. But I did play Dawn of War 1 and 2, Space Marines, and a little bit of the Total War version. And of course, for the channel Mechanicus. As the past segments say, so they came. Not Games Workshop itself, for what it is said on arts video, but someone in charge of copyright claiming or strikes for Games Workshop or the ones who came after him. I may misheard or misinterpreted the point, but if I recall correctly, the use of the word Warhammer on a monetized channel, dodge a bullet right here, or in the title of the videos, or has the channel title, is considered by Games Workshop has a copyright infring infringement. Sorry. Arch decided to simply took the Warhammer from his name. Now he's go by just Arch, and most likely, a lot of people already 
no hint by just this, not necessarily by the Warhammer. In some ways, many as many people already point, that does free him to do more stuff without being tied by its name. But I want to point out something interesting. It was already brought up in some of the live streams and videos that he made with some of his friends about the point that a lot of the community itself surrounding the hobby are quiet about. Some pre people brought up the fact and well, they want to just wait and see. If art vanish, maybe some of the views will bleed in to those people. And I don't disagree with that sentiment. But also there is something more. Welcome to the words of politics. The mob always wants more. Not that long ago, at this point, at the point that he received the email, a lot of people from the community itself was getting their metaphorical torches and pitchforks Nowadays, uh, Discord screenshots and Twitter hashtags to go call out Arch for being quote unquote Nazi bigot and all those lovely words than those more politically correct or social just align use. To that matter of effect, even if they agree then what Games Workshop is doing is wrong. The vocal, the large vocal parts of the community cannot say anything. Because what? They will be caught defending the bigot, defending the racist. And that is the dangers of the mob. Because the mob always wants more. We saw with someone else, where now it was his quote-unquote time on the chopping block and the mob didn't take seconds to raise their pitchforks against him and that will happen with everyone in some ways they came is there that the mob coming and shouting so I did my part I sent my email and I even use my amazing 60 two or 32 or something among those lines followers to be there to just go and talk about it so why too did my part send the email and I hope if you have the time to spare or just want to do for shits and giggles template on the description link for the original video from arch again in the description Go on, send the email for Games Workshop and question. Really, Warhammer is for everyone? Or just for the people that your company political views align with? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to keep this part short than the segments before. The main reason is, although a little bit important, I don't think it's heavily important right now. And maybe one day I will do again and do a more longer video about it. My opinions about politics and the hobby and video games are, yes, there are places too. I don't believe in everything needs to be apolitical. But I will be honest, I don't believe that everything is political. And the people who are claiming that it's just gamers TM outrage about some of the things you have to remember you are the same people who are raising your pitchforks and torches against developers who just want to stay neutral about that and well make a good product so try to think again which side you are on that now let me tell you something, and if you are, if you do a little bit of digging, you already know about who I'm talking about, but doesn't matter to the point. Yes, I agree, sometimes people 
start to firing their shots against pe against the ideas that the flags, let's just say, that being carried by the more politically correct or the social just types bring around without seeing who is carrying the flags. Just the flags on the horizon is enough for they to start shooting. Let me tell you something, those people in so many ways, they know what those flags bring most of the time and they see the metaphorical bodies then this happened. We saw that with a lot of franchises. Although partially debunked, we know the Department of Ethics on Square Enix. And even after that, although again partially debunked, if there are after some changes to some of the characters, the mob still wants more. The mob is never satisfied. The mob always gonna hunger for more. And as I said before, you as an individual, soon enough it will be your time. Soon enough you will be the one who say something out of the way for the mob. And the mob will bear its teeth against you. And the mob doesn't forgive. I say it again, I believe there is good to bring a little bit of politics to game sometimes some games specifically did very well out of the top of my head i can say that orwell did very well presenting both of his message presenting the flaws and the merits of both sides the pros and cons presenting all the people their flaws and their merits too about the people defending or fighting against the idea i'm not gonna spoil too much i hope anyone else interest go and take a look at the game both of the games are very strong and i do believe they carry a very good message they allow you to make the choice you go play to the game and decide the game doesn't shove an agenda on you one of the interesting fact is was brought as the outrage on Last of Us 2. Many of people would jump up to the conclusion was the outrage about Last of Us 2 murdering characters just because the fact that some of the people around were quoted to say that fun was not something that was implemented. Uh, a question about maybe it is about the fact that fun was not a priority to the game maybe it was the fact that Naughty Dog itself utilized DMCA claims on Twitter to get people banned for using for making memes out of the almost joke they make their selves look at no it was about a trans character being on the game. Allow me to say, I read a lot about the outrage about of Last of Us 2 because I was almost interesting about the game. And I never l heard about that. I'm not saying there wasn't, there was probably some. Like I said, you watch the flags appear in the horizon and many people already are shooting their arrows. But let me tell you something, sitting down on your side of the aisle say then the opposite doesn't happen? I think you are a little bit misguided or you are coming from a place of malice. Let us remember the outrage from Dune Eternal joking on expense of the political correctness using terms like mortally challenge or citing earth being the melting pot of the universe and there was the outrage or more or less far cry new dawn the one who everyone complained about having two female characters because that's the only way ubisoft will do that if you want to be equally represented on the media, you will have to suck up by sometimes being portrayed as the villain or the bad guy. Sorry, if you want equal, equal representation, the evil white 
heterosexual male will have to step out for your minorities start being checked on the antagonist side. And we don't need to go very far. We have an outrage by the fact that Far Cry 6 are being are placing South America or Central America, depending on the place, with a more or less bananas republic. Let us remind the term came from somewhere. And if you want anyone wants to debate, I'm come from somewhere from experience about that. Part in specific, to be honest. In the end, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it's fine to have a little bit of politics in gaming, if you treat that right, if you do message, if you don't try to shove your own personal agenda down somebody else's throat, and you would do that very well, not only on the gaming industry, but in the coverage. Remember, the mob is always hungry, and they will come for you. And let me tell you, it's really hard to run if you are in the mobby, in the mob. And let me tell you one, I will part with two things. I will finish this video with two statements. The first one is more or less a more lighted hearted one. If you really want to know who is oppressing you, just discover who you can't make jokes about it. The second one is a more philosophical one, a term that has been debated for ages. It comes even before more or less the age of enlightenment. It comes no, it comes from the age of enlightenment, I think the beginning, but philosophers from even from now debate and it caused a little bit of a attrition between the most gentlemen, the most scholars gentlemen who debate so much of those philosophical and important questions. And I take to you, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, scholars, philosophers, to answer the so much, the so old question, it has been echoed to the centuries. Are traps gay? <laughs>